Hi, welcome to the Money Stack Bar Graph customization tutorial video. Let's get started. If we go to our project panel, go to the All Graphs folder, and let's look for our Money Stack Graph folder. Twirl that open, and you'll see we have a few compositions here. Um, we have our Enter Money uh, Bar Data. So this is where you would enter your data and change the, the graph. We have our render comp, which is what we have. Um, we can double click to open that up. And this is a comp that you can actually render on its own uh, if you wanted just to render this as a movie by itself. You can change your currency symbol here in this composition. And if you double click the money stack front, this is where actually you can change the colors for your uh, currency, or you can use a different one if you like. Just know that if you want to use your own image here, you you can, uh, but it won't be animated unless you know you animate it yourself. So let's go back to our money bar graph render comp. As you can see, we have two text layers here, and those can be edited in this composition. If you double click on them, you'll see they're highlighted in our comp viewer, then you can change your text here. You can change the font and the color and the size in your character control panel. And as uh, if you saw when we first opened this, if you hit U on your keyboard, you can bring up our uh, keyframes. So this text is animated. If you can see the keyframes towards the beginning, these animate it in and these at the end animate out. And if you um, drag and click to select these keyframes, you can actually move them you know, forward or backwards um, in time if you wanted to change the timing of this uh, graph, make it longer or shorter. And then our next two layers are our wipe, our background pattern, another wipe that wipes the um, actual colored background. And this is actually a shape layer. If you select it and uh, you have your select tool, you can click on the fill uh, option up here. This has a radiant uh, gradient applied to it. And you can change the colors here if you like. Our background pattern also has a color. It has a fill effect applied. You can change that color here as well. Okay, so let's get started. If we go to our money bar graph data composition, double click to open that up. If you make this bigger so we can see what we're doing here. Okay. So our first control layer is our label control. And this is just uh, the color controls for the, these labels that are on top of each uh, stack of money. So you can change the size, you can change the colors. So if you wanted to turn off any of these bars, um, it's pretty easy to do in our bar width, spacing, and symbol size control. You can go to um, any of these effects control check boxes and you can just turn off any of these bars. And you can also change the spacing between each bar, uh, space between bars. You can extend that out a little. There you go. And you can even make the bar size a little bigger if you like. And that is independent from the label size. So when you go to label control, you can change the label size in here. There we go. Okay, so to enter your data, you're gonna to go to the layer we have right here, the enter chart data on the keyframe. So these are keyframed. So if you hit U on your keyboard, we can bring up those keyframes and you're going to double click on the second set of keyframes, uh, the second keyframe for each uh, data set. So right now we have the uh, bar data 01 keyframe selected. Double click on that. Enter our value. Click OK. And there we go. And you repeat that for each one. And you can also set the maximum value here as well. So if you had um, change the max value, it dynamically changes all of our uh, bar sizes. And for our text for each label, those can all be uh, edited here. Uh, if you want to select any of these layers that have a T next to them, that means they're text layers, double click on that. And you can type your
you can type your text here. There we go. And of course our colors are controlled with our color controller for our label, but you can change the font in our character panel and you can change its sizing, um, original sizing here.